All that we can say is that the BJP government has acted. We met Dr. Subramanian Swami, a top leader of the ruling BJP party at his home in New Delhi. On this issue, the country is with us. Most people like our hardline approach to solving pending problems. I mean, the UN has called this bill fundamentally discriminatory in nature, (laughs) surely by leaving out Muslims and including every other religion in this bill. No, but in this this is just, this is rolling back into his secular democratic core. The act cannot be faulted for that. This was a commitment we had made over several years, over several governments. We have completed the job. We know where the Muslim population is large. There's always trouble because the Islamic ideology says so. I mean, there's 200 million Muslims living in India. That's the yeah, second no largest Muslim them. population in the world. Uh, and you're saying that wherever Muslims live, that's If Muslims become more than 30%, that country is in danger. That sounds like hatred. That sounds no. like <laughs> language of hatred. It's easy to say hatred. I'm being kind to them by not letting them come to India. Article 14 of the Indian Constitution guarantees the right to equality, as you know, for all persons living in India. I can tell you that's a misinterpretation of Article 14. Article 14 guarantees equality of equals. I'll give you an example. Are all people not equal? All people are not equal. Muslims do not deserve equal rights to apply for... There's no such thing as equal rights. They're not in an equal category. 